Okay, thank you. I'm sorry for this inconvenience, these technical things. Well, uh, first I have to say that uh, I'm honored to be one of the speakers here in this very important topic. I have been working on preservation, heritage of Iraq, and mainly the city of Baghdad for over 25 years. And I teach this topic in the university and have uh, uh, participated in so many conferences around the world about this uh, project or this, uh, so many projects in this uh, aspect. But today I'm going to present something a little bit different about what have I uh, did before. It is about the spirit of this place, the spirit of the place that people live in. So we as architects and conservatives, when we face a mission of preserving this uh, building, a uh, heritage building or a place, we have to see the intangible aspects of it. I chose a few spaces, places as in the city of Baghdad. This is the map of the city of Baghdad. And this is the river, the main constituent of the city over time. So the city of Baghdad had the impact of older and recent wars. And it did affect the city badly, especially the more recent wars. So in 1991, it was heavily, and also in 2003, it was heavily bombed. Certain buildings were rebuilt. Other buildings were maintained. And also we had a very bad impact of the terrorist violence. So many explosions and all over the city. Security precautions had their negative impact also on, on the city life. Yet, all over time, in bad times, in hard times, and in peaceful times, people continue to practice their traditions. So I chose one of the places where people practice certain traditions and very beautiful one. It's called Khudr Elias. It is a place on the uh, riverbank in the city of Baghdad. It is really related to Al Khudr, to Prophet Yahya uh, in Christianity, the John the Baptist, and also to Saint Elia, and also connected to older uh, legend. People would go there, mainly on Thursdays. We can see the place and we can see that even with the modern bridge, people would go there and lit their candles, send them in the river for wish fulfillment. There is a small shrine here. Actually, the shrine is not old. It's not historical. It's new and uh, it is, is not related to any historical style. But we can see that the spirit of the place is the people and what they do, what they believe, and what it means to them and what it means to their hearts. Any architect would only actualize this image. The spirit is there and everything is there. We don't need to do the superficial or uh, new buildings here. We need just to see this place and how it lives and how it lived for over 3000 years. They also celebrate the day of Zakaria. The day of Zakaria celebrated in a certain day in the year. As I said, they celebrate the birth of, uh, of Prophet Yahya, John the Baptist, and one of the main wishes said there is to have children. So they do this celebration there every year. But it's not celebrated only there. It is celebrated in the houses, 
they put candles, they put sweets and certain plants, and they put it in a tray saying, Zachariah, come back each year and I will set the tray for you. And this is vows for wishful fulfillment. So Zachariah would remind us of another place by the river. It's a place where baptism, weddings, and other rituals of the Sabian Mandians, of course, they are believer of John the Baptist as well, they do on the bank of the river. It means a lot. It is a place of worship, place of uh, 2,000 years of traditions, and is done in the same way all over 2,000 years. But this is not only on this place in the city of Baghdad. They have such places on the river banks in Iraq, mainly, mainly in the south, and uh, maybe one in the north. So rituals of worship, of feasts, and of uh, traditional games, cooking for the visit of imams, are all practiced in places and they give the meaning of these places in the heart of people, in the mind of people, in trying to uh, rehabilitate the heritage, the tangible heritage. Most of the people, most of the specialists as well, uh, do not take into consideration the real activity, the real spirit of that space. The, uh, the activity which made this place as it is. It is, it is on, as I said, uh, image. It is on memory. So if we go closer to this tangible heritage, we'll go to the urban place and choose a street. The street, the Rashid Street, is the first main street in modern Baghdad. We can see that in the map. It was established by the Ottomans in 1908, completed by the British in World War I. And since the establishment of modern state of Iraq, this, this uh, street witnessed all the uh, coming, all the uh, activities of modern life. Photographing, over air cinema, and in the 30s and 40s, it got its own style, architectural style. In its surroundings, in the context surroundings, alleys, in the alleys, architectural and non-architectural tradition were still going on, enhanced by modernity, by people having their uh, views, their uh, social and political views come out. And as you see, the, the, the place is this street. Women started to express themselves also marching in the street. Commercial activity flourished there. And it became one of the main cultural features of the city. Actually, it was the main, the main feature of the identity of the city. Modernity had its impact, and uh, in certain part of it, the CBD, Central Business District, uh, grew there to have the, uh, the world of uh, finance and the, uh, the comprehensive uh, commercial function. These cafes continue to gather poets and writers from all over Iraq, 
in the in the 70s and beginning of the 80s we could see the deterioration the start of deterioration because of the of the change of land use of uh, of the center and uh, new functions came there the infrastructure was being uh, badly affected so in the 80s there was a renewal plan for the for the whole historic sector for the whole historic center of the city of Baghdad and uh, a special project for the for the uh, development of Rashid Street. Unfortunately, it was not implemented for certain circumstances, among them, of course, wars and sanctions in the 90s. We could see more decay and deterioration of course, I'm talking about Rashid Street, but this is true for all other parts of the uh, traditional fabric. It had its share of the impact of war and the uh, anti-violence. The indirect impact was on the infrastructure in the street. And now we are facing the danger of losing very significant buildings there. Some of the owners did intervene in a very ugly way, facing their, uh, their buildings with uh, these materials and these colors. This was uncontrolled, uh, not approved, but because of the lack of uh, control in the city, they did all this. Of course, there is no conscience in doing all this. Another project was done for the city uh, for the for the development of Rashid Street. It has it was divided to six parts and it was studied carefully. One of the uh, views of the of the developer was to to restraighten the street as the bridge of Sinek caused a turn in the uh, in the path of the street. And they had this uh, view. Uh, they wanted to have it as pedestrian and take some features of the traditional houses or traditional fabric and add them to the component of uh, the building and elevation of these buildings. We can see the suggested elevations and the path of the street, the pedestrian path with the was some kind of uh, transport in the middle, in the intersection between bridges and the path of the street. Squares like this were suggested. All that lacked the spirit, lacked the spirit, the history of people in the street, their life, their uh, expressing the way they express themselves, the way they went to cafe, the way they uh, they worked there, the way they gathered there, and what it meant, what this street meant really for them. This, these uh, pictures are new, and we can see that life went on in spite of the violence, in spite of the uh, civil violence in the alleys around the street. In 2016, there was a preparation for the celebration of 100 years anniversary of, uh, of the life of the street. And some uh, restoration was done to a part of it. A big festival was there. And uh, well, after that, there was some young volunteers and some uh, NGOs who tried to work by their own, but in a very superficial way, painting some of the columns or trying to restore some of the uh, elevations. Actually, this is far away from dealing with the real problem. The real problem is that these buildings were not being uh, lived anymore. 
they were turned to uh, warehouses for the uh, stock market. And uh, now, uh, of course, and this would put them into more deterioration. Uh, fires were around everywhere because of the bad storage there. People, when people lived there, when they had their offices there, when they had their companies there, or even when th some of these buildings were hotels, you could see that they were managing and they were trying uh, to maintain what happens to, uh, to, to these buildings or to where they are uh, doing their activities. I want to compare that, what happened or what's going on with the Rashid Street with a smaller street, that the street is, uh, is a part of Rashid Street. It, it starts from it going to the river it is Al Mutanabbi Street, and I think that so many of uh, even not Iraqis have heard of it. It is the place, the real place of culture. It is the cultural lung of the city now, the living cultural lung of the city, where people gather every day, but mainly on on Fridays, go there. Books are everywhere on the ground and in the bookshops and uh, people of uh, cultural activities are all around. You can see the crowds there. And uh, the cafes are very uh, lifeful with, uh, with, the, uh, with the groups of poets or writers and uh, people are expressing their uh, political views as well there. What happened is that there was a big explosion in Mutarabi Street. There was a very uh, fast, and uh, because it was very urgent, there was a very fast uh, way of, uh, of dealing with it, trying to maintain the infrastructure only the path of the street. Uh, the picture on the right is in 2008. I don't know why it's written in 1970, but this was the, day, the, uh, the time of uh, restoring this uh, street and uh, they facilitated only the, the work of the people, of the owner of these shops to do their own uh, rehabilitation, to do their own maintenance. And they helped them to, uh, to maintain or to, uh, to work on the elevations while they did uh, the other work inside. In a very short time extremely short time, life was back again in the street. Books were back again in the street. So now I want really to compare between the two projects or the two cases, starting from above, from a, a comprehensive view with huge studies and huge planning for the, uh, for the rehabilitation and here, uh, I'm not saying that we are starting from the part, but we are starting, or, or, or uh, it started, with a living heritage, with a living place. And this place, what, what, what is going on in this place, had its uh, encouraged, really, the uh, rehabilitation of nearby uh, traditional buildings, like Al Qishba building, the place of the Ottoman uh, government and the, uh, the Baghdadi center, which was the uh, courts of the main courts uh, in Iraq. And uh, also it is working like a magnet uh, for people in the other alleys to, uh, to make investment of their living heritage uh, using the buildings, uh, doing some restoration for the buildings, but letting, letting the function, letting the life of culture and letting other activities which come as service for this cultural uh, life to, to be in their places. So the, uh, the good rehabilitation is spreading in this area. Of course, we need 
We need the overall view. We need the vision, not only for the whole Rashid Street, but for what we we think about the future of uh, of the historical center, and not only for this part. Maybe this is the life of uh, of Culture Hill, but in the other parts of Rashid Street, as I showed, the the commercial, the real finance life could start again, could come to life again and the cafes and other parts, the entertainment part. This is because the life, the spirit of the place is really there and we are only letting it be there without us forcing things on the street and trying to do more elaborate work on the physical heritage and ignoring the uh, intangible heritage so in doing this these places will not be only places of the past they will be places of life and hope and thank you